Hi guys, back with another video. As you can tell, we're doing a little bit more squirrel hunting. It's a little bit later in the year. Most of the leaves are off the trees. Actually, the season's gonna go out here in a couple days because our deer season comes in. So we're set up in a different area. I did see a couple nests. I'm not sure what kind of luck we're gonna have. We may see one or two. Let's find out. All right, just seen one come down a tree. Not sure if we'll be able to get a shot at this one. We may have to shoot left handed. Let's see where the thing goes. Alright, so I didn't see that squirrel again. I did see a big fox squirrel on out there, probably 100 yards. Seen it run up through the woods. I might move over a couple trees. I'll be lined up better. So even with this wind, it looks like there may be some squirrels moving around. Waiting here for a while. Waiting here for a good while. You seen that one come down a tree? I don't know if that was the same squirrel or not. Completely different direction. Seen a big fox squirrel running across the ground. Waiting here for a while though. So I'm gonna wait for a little while longer. Nice big gray squirrel. I got a squirrel barking at me. I'm not sure if we'll be able to pick it out. But we're gonna give it a try. So we're here, uh, right up in here is where we heard that squirrel barking. I got another one back this way barking. A couple hawks flew over, so I think that one was barking at the hawks. I don't know what it is with these things, but they just seem to be extra on a aware, I guess the best thing you could say. I've just noticed that whole season, like these things are on edge. It doesn't matter where I hunt, but these squirrels are really on edge. I don't know what that's about. But anyways, we're going to sit here for a little bit. Hopefully we'll see one of these two. Alright, we got to shoot one left-handed. It's behind me to my right. Left-handed. Now, that was pretty cool. All right. Oh, that's a big one there. Nice big fox squirrel. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's something down there with this hill, making a lot of noise. 
in the leaves. I don't know if it's a turkey, I don't know if it's a turkey scratching, a deer, squirrel, chipmunk, I don't know. We're gonna sneak over here and see if we can see it. Fox squirrel. See its tail? See its tail? Just come down around the tree, might be better off. Just come down around the tree, might be better off. Got the squirrel. I didn't check yet. I don't think I had the button on on the camera on the gun. Missed it a couple times, but I actually got it. But there it is. Smaller fox squirrel. When I was shooting at this one, another one down here barking. Right, let's see. gray squirrel from the looks of it. Little gray squirrel. That makes number four. All right, guys, we're sitting here. Probably got a good maybe 45 minutes to an hour of shooting time left. Probably longer than that, actually. I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna let these squirrels go. I know there's a few more in here. I've heard other ones that I didn't even see. We ended up with four. Two fox, two grays. I think that's plenty enough to take care of because I've mentioned it over and over. I do not like cleaning squirrels, but I gotta take care of these ones. So I think I'm gonna end the video so thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.